Hello everyone, good morning for those of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I am excited to be on the channel today. Um, it's been a very busy time for me and my family, uh, but I wanted to come on here and um, do a reading today. This is actually going to be a little bit different. This is actually going to be a very divine feminine focused. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I don't have a lot of time this morning because I'm waiting for my son to come back and we're going to do the whole Santa Claus thing and then we're leaving to go to my family's. Um, but I've been doing a lot of soul searching lately and um, I've been working with a lot of my, my coaching clients and I know that 2021 has been a really hard year for everybody. Um, and what I've been noticing too is a lot of you guys have been really stuck, okay? Stuck in these situations where... Your twin flame has blocked you or, you know, it's an un it's just an unhealthy attachment. Um, it's an obsession. And um, there's a lot of other people in the spiritual community who are making shifts right now. Um, I haven't fully decided how I'm going to move forward um, here on the channel um, in terms of the twin flame concept. Uh, but I am um, going to be doing a lot of soul searching over the next few weeks uh, because... Mm -hmm. What I've been seeing and what I've been hearing uh, from a lot of my, again, my clients, and these are beautiful, wonderful people, is just staying in these situations that are really unhealthy, guys. And I'm telling you right now, the twin flame concept can mean so many different things to so many different people. I know for me personally, my twin flame was a catalyst to my spiritual awakening and to bring about healing to the collective. And so I want to be able to shift things on my channel to more of a healing. And I know a lot of you guys who have worked with me say, you know, that when I do the personal readings for you, it's very, very healing and it's, um, you know, very positive. And, and I love being able to do that. But I also want to stay, stay away from keeping people stuck in toxic situations or in fantasy world. Um, and a lot of the Twin Flame concept, guys, and this may be triggering for some of you. And for some of you, this doesn't apply. So again, take what resonates here. But for some of you, it's a very unhealthy fantasy and it's a very unhealthy toxic attachment to somebody who is not choosing you, okay? What the twin flame concept truly is about is about coming back to you and your wholeness, okay? So that you can attract in true, romantic, healthy, reciprocal love. And maybe that's with your twin flame, maybe it's with a soulmate, and maybe it's with nobody for a time being. Okay, so the reason I'm, I'm telling you guys this is because I've been, you know, I've been talking to a lot of my, my spiritual sisters about this, these things, and I've had a lot of clients really shifting as well, you know, being like, you know what, this person, I've been in this twin flame thing for years, and this person is still with a karmic, and this person isn't choosing me. It's like, yeah, it's time to move forward, right? It's time to move on, because the more that you stay stuck in that energy, Okay, the more you keep wishing for the magical fantasy that you've built up in your mind, the more you are keeping true love from coming into your life. Okay, guys, and I know this may be triggering for some of you, but I have to come on and tell you my truths. I have experienced everything that you guys have experienced on this journey, okay? And I'm so grateful and thankful that I've been able to come out of that sort of wishing and hoping for a union and wanting to be with this person who ultimately did not choose me who ultimately chose um, a person that is nothing like me, okay? And I'm not sitting here talking from the ego. I'm just telling you this person is very dark. Um, I know that I am the light. And it just reflects back to me how wounded this person was. And it reflects back to me the wounds that I have needed to heal within myself, including abandonment, codependency. And so this particular person and this connection who I thought was my twin flame okay and maybe maybe he still is you know but again I'm not caught, I'm not caught up on the concept okay because again we get caught up on the concept and all of a sudden it puts them on a pedestal right so this person came into my life to you know help me go through my spiritual awakening to help me um heal the things that I needed to heal and it brought me to you guys which is so amazing okay and I'm here to help you guys, right? And I just feel within every fiber of my being that my mission is to now help people let go 
of the twin flame concept that's keeping them stuck in this loop. It's like running on a hamster wheel, right? And to really bring in positive reciprocal love. Okay, so if you guys are interested in working with me on that, if you're ready to let go, you're ready to surrender, and you're ready to bring in that love, let me know. Send me an email. Um, I don't even have a coaching package for that yet on my website, uh, but that is my next step in my mission here on the channel. I'm still going to be doing collective readings, guys, but again, it's going to be more focused. And like I said, I haven't even really fully come you know, into what it's going to look like next year um, on the channel, but for now, um, I'm going to be really focusing on helping the Divine Feminine heal, okay? Um, so I hope that resonates with you guys. And I just want you to know that I am here for you. Um, and it's time for me to speak my spiritual truth. And I know I started a series a while back called Twin Flame Truths. And unfortunately, life has just gotten so busy, I haven't been able to really focus on that. But I am going to be getting back to that in 2022. Um, and I'm really excited about it, guys. And I know that my mission here is to help people heal. And for some of you that are on this journey, it is... You know, when you listen to readings, right, and you listen to the messages and you have this hope that he's going to come back and it's that longing. I get it. I was there. I was totally there. And that's what the, and that's the message that you need to hear at the time to keep you on the journey to discover more, to heal more. But what you have to realize is that is keeping you stuck. Okay. So again, Take what resonates with this, right? Um, the messages that I bring to you are meant to help you on the journey, um, but you really need to take a step back and see what needs to be healed within, within you because if a man or a woman is not choosing you, it is not a healthy reciprocal relationship no matter what the soul connection is. Okay, guys? We have to be real. We have to be real. And I know we talk about in the Twin Flame community, oh, it's the 5D, don't worry about what's going on in 3D, guys. We are still living a human experience here on the planet, okay? And again, the more energy that you put towards a relation, a one-sided relationship, okay, or somebody that's not choosing you, the more you are pushing away energetically a partner that is right for you, okay? And you're not going to be able to attract that partner until you heal the things within yourself that are keeping you locked in these unhealthy attachments. Okay, and guys, again, I'm not a psychologist. I am not trained... Um, I just understand relationships and this is me channeling through my guides and through spirit to bring you this message today. So I hope that resonates with you guys. All right, so we're going to just do a quick reading today. I wanted to just come on and kind of tell you guys where I've been at and uh, what's been going on with me spiritually and um, I'm really, really happy to be making this shift as well. Um, and uh, we're going to see what needs to be healed for the Divine Feminine and what's coming in for this next year for you, Divine Feminine, okay? Maybe this is going to be a new love partner. Maybe this is going to be a new job, a new career. So let's find out what's going to happen. And we're going to see what needs to be healed, Divine Feminine, for you. So I want to call on my Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ascended Masters, 5D and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the Divine Feminine today. Please guide us the answers that we need to know. Let's just see, what's the energy right now surrounding Divine Feminine Spirit? Okay, we've got the Page of, wow, Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. You are releasing Divine Feminine. Divine Feminines are releasing a lot of things. And it's so funny because I feel like this is, this is me right now, right? Releasing these things that have been burdening you. This deception, okay? Um, and perhaps this is somebody who has been you know, kind of lying to you or not being honest with you, you're releasing these people and these situations in your life right now. The page of pentacles also represents good luck. So I feel like there's a lot of good luck coming because you have um, let a lot of these situations go. And of course my dog now, he, no, come on, up, up. there you go. Good boy. Um, so what's happening is because you're releasing a lot of these burdens and because you're releasing Toxic situations, right? Um, people that are not being honest with you, okay? Um, this could even be somebody that was stealing from you, okay? Um, just stealing your light, stealing your energy, right? So what's happening is you're releasing all of that right now. And there's a lot of really good things coming to you. What's coming to the Divine Feminine? What do we need to know, please? The Strength card. I love this. 
Beautiful. The Emperor. Guess what, guys? <laughs> and the Knight of Pentacles. What's coming for you is a Divine Masculine. For a lot of you, this is a new person that's coming in, okay? Um, and this can also mean a new... It's so funny because I was like thinking, Divine Feminine is going to have a lot of newness coming in in 2022, right? Um, I feel that there is a new Divine Masculine coming in. Again, this can be a soulmate, a twin friend, doesn't matter. Take the label away from it. The labels just... Honestly, the labels keep us stuck in toxic situations, okay? Um, so the Emperor... This can also mean a new new job, okay? So we have the strength card. So this is going to be a very big year for you in 2022, Divine Feminine, where you're going to have a lot of strength. You're going to be overcome. I feel like 2021 was a lot of um, overcoming things, right? Again, getting rid of situations that no longer serve you. And we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So again, this is take your time, Divine Feminine. Take your time in 2022, don't rush into anything. Um, this can mean, again, in relationships, in a job, okay? You don't want to make sure you're reading all the fine print. Making sure that, you know, just because somebody comes in doesn't mean that that's the right person. You want to make sure. You want to take your time, okay? Really feel it. And a lot of times what happens, too, is that we have these wounds that we haven't healed. And once we get that person that comes in that, oh, my gosh, this could be it, it's like, we latch on to it, right? And that's what Spirit is saying is that this year, you're deconstructing all of that, right? You are taking your time. You're vetting these people, okay? You're going above and beyond. Oh, I feel a soul connection with this person. No, but what's the reality? What's the reality, right? Is that person going to be a viable partner for you? What's the situation, okay? All right, so let's see now. Divine Feminine, what do we need to heal? Okay, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, waiting, waiting energy, waiting for things to happen, right? Um, waiting for things to grow. There's the Page of Wands. I love this, okay? The Page of Wands to me always represents the journey, going off on your journey. So I feel that, yeah, and there's the Two of Wands. Again, like looking into the future. So Divine Feminine, what I'm seeing for you is rewriting your story, okay? Rewriting your story with somebody new coming in, somebody new, a new job, whatever that is, somebody that's going to give you everything that you deserve in a relationship, okay? A reciprocal, healthy relationship, guys. No more waiting around for a person that's not choosing you, okay? Okay? Um, again, this is, and this is also too, in 2022, this is you getting back on your spiritual journey, not related or attached to a person or a concept. If that makes sense. Rewriting your story. If you guys want help with that too, I can help. Okay. We, I'm, I'm going to be doing some workshops hopefully in the new year. Um, but if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with rewriting your story, I would be more than happy to help with that too. Send me an email. Okay, what else do we need to know for the Divine Feminine? Get yourself grounded, okay? And again, this to me, and I'm going to pull an Animal Spirit Guide and we're going to end the reading. Take everything that you have learned so far and ground it. And again, this is, again, coming back down to reality, right? It's really important, Divine Feminine, because a lot of times we can get caught up in this magical thinking. We can get caught up in the fantasy um, building something up in our minds, okay, that probably doesn't really exist in the physical world, okay? So this is what I'm saying. Yes, we can have spiritual ascension. We can have a spiritual journey, right? Um, but it's also really important to make sure we're keeping ourselves grounded and looking at the reality of the situation, okay? And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I've worked with so many clients where, and I have been experiencing this too in my, my own world where, you know, people that I have connections, men that I have connections with, um, but their situation is impossible, right? It's like, no, I, I, that's not going to work for my reality, okay? That's not going to work for my reality. So keep that in mind, Divine Feminine. Last card is Animal Spirit Guide, and it is going to be... <laughs> 
Oh my God, the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries, okay? And I cannot believe that that card just came out because it is so, so, so true. Exactly what I've been channeling for the Divine Feminine. What are your healthy boundaries, okay? And again, you're doing that here with people that no longer serve you. I love this. I want you to think about this, Divine Feminine. What are those healthy boundaries? Like, what are you willing to accept and not accept? What's healthy? All right, actually, I pulled another <laughs> another uh, animal spirit guide. There was two that came out. So this is the wombat, and it says, be at home. And I love that, that this is how we're going to end the reading because, again, being at home means coming back to union within yourself and feeling that sense of home within yourself, right? And again, this is saying to you, take some time for you, right? For self-care. Again, where can we clean up our vibration, Divine Feminine? And I can tell you right now, um, it's not going to be staying attached to unhealthy situations, okay? Cleaning up your vibration, being at home and at peace with yourself is really important. And again, obviously, we know we're going through some more things with the pandemic right now. So now is a really time, a really great time to create a beautiful space in your home. Getting yourself grounded and setting those healthy boundaries. And I'm telling you, your 2022 is going to be freaking amazing because you got new love coming in. Okay. Healthy reciprocal love. You got a lot of strength coming in. Okay. And I do see for a lot of you, there is going to be a new, a new job, a new career as well. Guys, please let me know how this resonated. I'd love to hear your comments about um, the channel and the shifts that I'm making and what you guys want to see. Um, I really appreciate you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love today and of course every day. Um, if you guys do want to book a personal reading with me, all the information is below. If you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, with your twin flame situation. Again, this can be about whatever you're going through. I am here. Send me an email. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Take care. Namaste.